Welcome to the IT Shed. In this video we're looking at CS50's introduction to programming Python. Problem set 4. Adieu, adieu. So adieu, adieu, it's inspired by the film The Sound of Music and a song called So Long, Farewell. So the crux of this is the user will input a name. So it'll loop around and ask for names. So if one name is entered, say Lizzle, the computer will output, the program will output adieu, adieu to Lizzle. So if two names are entered, Lizzle and Frederick, then the computer will output I do I do to Lizzle and Frederick. And if three names are imported, Lizzle, Frederick and Lu Louisa, sorry, Louisa, then it will output Lizzle, comma Frederick and Louisa. So how the computer knows that you're finished inputting names and you're gonna do the output is that you press Control D. So if you put in one name, hit Control D, it'll do a do a do to Lizzle, and if you do two names, Control D, do a do to Lizzle and Frederick, etc. So at the outset, it actually looks like a kind of a complicated program, you know, uh, how you how you get the commas in there and the ands depending on the amount of names. But luckily for us, this is a program about libraries, so we're going to import a library and it'll do most of the heavy lifting for us, and it turns out to be quite a simple enough old program. So let's have a look. Okay, I've created a directory called ado. I cd'd into it, and I'm now coding ado.py. So this is our program. So it can be kind of hard to know where to start with this one. So if we go back to our introduction here, and we go to hints, we can see pip install inflect. So what is inflect? If we go to supply documentation here for inflect, so you can see here the project description. So in Flect.py, so it generates plural, singular nouns, and converts numbers to words, etc. So after pip installing in Flect, we could import it into our program, and then we assign the inflect.engine to a variable, and that gives us access to all the different methods here then. So we'll hopefully find something we can use to get our program up and running. So go back to our program and we're going to pip install and flect. Now this is not going to work for me because it's already installed in my system. But this is what you'll do, you'll type pip install and flect. And that will actually install the program for you. As I said, it's telling me here that it's installed already. So we've pip installed it clear it. So the next thing we're going to do is import and flect. And import it into our program. And then we're going to create a variable. It's going to call P like the documentation. And I'm going to assign that to inflect that engine. Like it told us in the documentation here. So this is just uh, getting inflect working in your program. So you're importing it and you're assigning it to a variable p and then you're going to use that variable to get the program uh, to do what we want it to do. Okay, let's look at the to-do list. So first off, we're going to get uh, input from the user in the form of name colon. So just as a reminder, in our program here, we prompt the user for a name. So we type name colon to the user. That prompts them to enter a name. And as you see, that keeps looping. So once I add a na name, it's going to loop again, look for more names until the user presses Control D. So we're going to have to bring some kind of a loop into our program. And I'm thinking at this stage, a while loop would be appropriate. So it's going to loop, looking for the name. And when it gets the name, then it's going to have to add it to some kind of a list. Because if it's one name, it's fine, but if it's two or three or four, then it's gonna to have to add it to a list so I can process it afterwards. So add to a list. So that's gonna keep doing that. So it's gonna keep looping. It's gonna keep inputting for a name. It's gonna keep adding to the list until the user um, presses Control D. So when that happens, that ends the program. And then it is going to, then we're gonna have an output. So what are we gonna do with our output? Well, we know we have to type a do a do, and then we're going to have to join or append the names that the user inputted. 
So it'll be a do do, uh, and then Lesel and whoever Ingrid or whoever happens to be. So we don't know yet whether it's one name or it's um, three names or five names, and it differentiate with commas, and it'll have ands in there. So that at this stage to me that seems a bit complex because you don't know what you're dealing with yet, how many names you're dealing with, and how you're going to you know insert these into the right places. But that is what this assignment's about, and it's about libraries. And funnily enough, we have a program here um, that we imported called Inflect. So we'll look in the Inflect documentation as we get down to this point later on in our program. Okay, let's start with a while loop. A while true. So while it is true, we will get input from a user. So I'm going to create a variable called name, because we're getting names. And I'm going to sign that to input. And I'm going to type name. This is what the user is going to see prompted to them. So name, and it's stored in the variable name. So I'm going to keep doing that because the it's put in a while loop, and it's not false yet. So the next thing we do is add it to a list. So let's create a list. So list of names. So list names. And then we assign that to empty brackets, which are a list. So we have our list, we have our while loop, and we have our name variable and getting input from the user. So list names, list names dot append. Now append is a Python inbuilt method that will append. So if I just add it to it, it'll delete whatever else is in the list. Append will add. So if I have John in there and I append it to Paul, it'd be John and Paul rather than just you know, getting rid of John and adding Paul into it. Anyway, append, I'm going to append name. So I'm appending the name here. So the next thing to do is listen to for control D. Okay. Done the previous assignments or you watch some of my videos, you'd see the EOF exception, press control D. But either way, we could search uh, Google or Stack Overflow and we find it here, the accept EOF error. And it's in try and accept statement. I'll just copy that. Now the rest of this isn't actually um, appropriate because it's a raw input and pass which I'm not going to use. But it's the error itself, except EOF error we're looking for. So we'll bring that here. So what we're going to do is a try and accept statement. So as I said, you'd have seen this in the other videos if you're doing them in order, or the other assignments if you're doing them in order. So try. Uh, we will indent that as well because it's in the... Okay. And then paste that in here. So we have our while loop and we have our try and accept statement. So try the input and add into a list until you get the EOF error. And if you do that, then we break out of our while loop. So that exits the while loop here, the break. Okay, let's print list of names now. just to see what happens so far. So if we start our program, and we type the name Paul, Mary, John, and we press Control D. Now we see we have a list with Paul, Mary, and John in it. So what we need to do now is figure out how to join or append that list to our, our string of do we do up here, so we do we do Paul, comma, Mary and John. So how are we going to figure that out? Okay, let's go back to our inflect documentation. Now remember where we got this in the first place, we got it here and you don't have to hint. Let's see it here. So we're back in our documentation and let's have a look through here, see is there anything. So the plural, that's not really relevant to us. But if we look at this for a while and scroll through it, we will find down here somewhere join words to a list okay so remember earlier we had p what does p mean p is assigned to inflect engine so the p is the engine so p dot join and it's given words here what's it do it brings out comma and and that's what we need so let's just copy this into our program and see if we can play with it and change it around. So I get rid of that. 
So we have a list called my list, and we can call that ent we like, we can change it to new list or whatever. We have p.join, now we have a list of words here, a list of strings. But in our case, we actually want a list of names, so if we just get rid of that, and we put in a list of names, let's try printing my list. So let's see what happens. So again, I'll type Paul, Mary, Edel, and I'll press Control D. So what we got? We've got Paul, comma Mary, comma and Edel. I think that's exactly what we're looking for, is it? Let's see here. Okay, we're next to comma somewhere we don't need, but hopefully it'll work. So all we're left with now is actually printing it to the screen. And that should finish our program. So here we'll do an F string, so F. And we will create, my list is actually a variable, so I'm gonna put it into curly braces. So in the F string, we're gonna have a do a do. So what I'm gonna do here, and I'm gonna tell you why I'm doing this in a minute, I'm gonna copy this from the program itself, and I'm gonna paste it in here. So if you're not familiar with F strings, F strings are format strings, and what they do is they combine the text we have here, which is a string, to a variable. So it'll, it'll print out the, it all in one line. So let's just try this again. So, Paul, uh, Philip, Olivia, and Rona. Now we press Control D to finish the program. So we have a do a do to Paul, Philip, Olivia, and Rona. So I think that's us done. All we are left to do now is check it with CS50 to see if there's any errors. Um, if there is, we'll fix them. So over here, we'll scroll down. And we'll check, we'll copy that. Bring it over, we'll clear that now again. Paste that in there. Brilliant, we have all greens. Okay, I said earlier that I pasted this in here. I copied it out of here and I pasted it in. And the reason was that when I done this program first, when I did this program first, I came across an error, and it was something like expected a do we do, not name 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 etc. And I couldn't fix the problem until I just copied that and pasted it in here instead of typing it in myself, and that miraculously fixed it. So if that's a problem you come across, you just try that. So I just tidied up a small bit and I'll run through this program one more time. So we import inflect. Now this is a module, and it's very important we do that because otherwise this won't, this down here won't work. So we assign inflect that engine, which is the basically engine of the module, and don't forget the braces to a variable just called a p. We create our list of names, and a while loop. This will keep prompting the user to input name. They'll keep inputting name, and the name is going to be appended to the list which we have up here. And that's going to keep going until the user presses Control D, and the try and accept error will will kick in. That'll stop the program and it'll exit the loop with the break keyword. This is where Inflect actually uh, comes to its own here. Join is very powerful because there's an awful lot of code uh, to be able to do what we've done here. The type it do to put in the commas and to put in the ands to put them in the right places. So. The join method here is actually very powerful. So we just uh, call our join method in association with the inflect engine. We put our list of names here, because that's what we want to join, and that's assigned to my list. So down here we're using an F string, and we have our string here, which I, as I said, I copied, and then we're combining it with my list in curly bra braces here, because it's a variable. 
it's a short enough uh, quick program and it was made very easy um, I think that's the pro purpose of this whole um, exercise to show you the power of libraries and importing other programs into it that took away the heavy lifting so thank you for joining me in this video and if you like what you're seeing please like and subscribe